This video is brought to you by Setup. This is the dream Apple setup from around 7 to 10 years ago. Imagine today's latest top of the line products like a maxed out 16 inch MacBook Pro paired with the latest 32 inch XDR monitor and peripherals and the newest iPhone 12 Pro. Do you know what's cool about it? That many years later, this complete setup is still relevant. What's even better is the fact that you can actually afford it because this whole thing, including all the items, can be obtained for less than 900 bucks. To top it all, this composition will still feel more inspiring and serve you better than many modern solutions out there. Of course, it has some limitations, so let's take a look. Before we check out the relevancy of everything and see how it performs, let us check out the components and their history first, starting off with the newest kit on the block. This is the iPhone 6S, and I chose this for a reason. Released in September 2015, this iPhone is unique because of several factors. The most important one is that unlike any other company out there, this almost 7-year-old device supports the latest iOS 15. This is just crazy. But the fact is that if you don't really care about the camera quality, this phone can be proudly used today because it works. It performs better than some cheap Android alternatives out there. To top it all, spare parts and repairability of this thing will cost you close to nothing. This 6S in good condition with replaced battery can be purchased for around 100 bucks today. Now, if someone asks me for a really, really cheap smartphone to buy right now, that would be my recommendation and I'm not joking, nothing else. This iPhone was post Bengate iPhone 6. It is also excellent because it comes in a larger variant, the Plus, which is a phone that your eyes can drool over in its classic aspect ratio. Even Touch ID is a sought after feature right now. The 6S features Apple A9 chip and the storage ranges from 16 to 128 gigabytes tops. Of course, you'll be missing the latest cameras and some other creature comforts like tap to wake. But overall, as a smartphone, a device that can do phone calls, play videos, display social media and other worldwide web stuff, this little guy is solid. Next is my absolute favorite 27 inch Apple Thunderbolt display. This display was first released in July 2011, exactly 10 years ago. Made from aluminum and glass, the Thunderbolt display still matches the silver range of Apple devices of today. It weighs a ton and it has much to offer. Starting off with the Thunderbolt 1 connection between the monitor and the laptop alongside the integrated charging MagSafe cable the OG MagSafe we're talking about. This is called Octopus Cable that is permanently attached to this monitor that predates USB-C. It is the single cable charging laptop goodness that we all dreamt of back in the day. You just step into the office, place your MacBook Pro and plug in the cable. This display also has a 720p built-in webcam with a microphone. It will give you a perspective just as pixel dense as today's laptops and just as relevant and okay for meetings and work. The microphone quality is quite good, I'm very surprised. And by the way, while I have you here, why not subscribe to the channel and maybe my bi-weekly newsletter, which I'll link up there. Bye. The microphone is excellent, by the way, and I'm not sure if it's one or multiple, but it catches voice fantastic. Now get this, this monitor has a built-in 2.1 stereo speakers with a subwoofer. Yes, you heard that right. You don't need speakers for this setup because the Thunderbolt display is enough to fill out a room. Let's just admit that we're in this together and get this thing done. I want your word right now that you won't tell anyone what I told you. On the back of the monitor, you can find a Thunderbolt port, Firewire 800, three 2.0 USB ports, as well as a gigabit Ethernet port. Software-wise, this monitor works wonderfully with a Thunderbolt to USB-C adapter, even with the latest M1 machines. From the UI, you can control the brightness and volume at will. The only downside of this display is the resolution, which is 2560 by 1440, which is low by today's standards, but still better than some full HD displays. In this 27 inch size, that resolution is still fantastic to work on and those colors are from another planet. The richness that is sandwiched between the metal and glass is bliss for my eyes. Now I suffer from migraines and this is the only monitor around me, and I'm not joking, that somehow keeps me at bay. And even after spending countless hours on it, my eyes feel rested. 
I don't know if it's the refresh rate or some other magic, but it's fantastic. Now, imagine two of those side by side. Next is the late 2013 MacBook Pro. This particular device was given to me by a friend of mine and an old colleague who used it as a primary programming and developing device ever since its release back in the day. He didn't use peripherals or an external monitor, he just used a laptop as is for years. When I took it out from the drawer a few weeks ago, all it needed was a new battery because the old one was swollen and it was ready to go. The coating of the glass is gone, I know, and I may replace it. In clamshell style, however, this laptop works fantastic. The specs are funny these days. Even though we're talking about a quad-core i7 with 8GB, 1600MHz DDR3 memory with 256GB SSD storage and an Intel Iris Pro 1500MB graphics card, the benchmark showcase numbers worse than today's iPhones. But those are just numbers. All new apps work flawlessly on this machine and one way to unlock this laptop's total value is to use a service like Setup, today's video sponsor. Setup is a software curator that provides access to over 200 high value apps. Instead of paying for each software individually, you can get access to a wide variety of paid apps for a monthly subscription fee of $9.99. Think of Setup as your app store, but subscription based. The interface of Setup allows you to install and remove flagship apps at your convenience without having to risk and spend extra on software that you might not enjoy. You can install as many apps as you want like Clean My Mac X, which is a great maintenance software, especially for older Macs like this one, or even use VPN like ClearVPN to enjoy streaming services abroad. The catalog is carefully curated and all apps are of great value on their own. So check out the first link in the description below to sign up for Setup's exclusive 30-day trial. So what can you expect from this laptop? Instead of listing a massive variety of tasks that this laptop can handle easily, I'll tell you what you can't expect from it. And that is graphic intensive work like video editing, gaming or 3D stuff. However, it should be able to handle full HD editing. I'm not sure to be honest, but nevertheless, this laptop holds fantastic as a light use computer for home or school to do things like writing, browsing, entertainment, streaming and even casual games. It works incredibly well for photo editing and graphic or web design work, especially paired with this display. With a replaced battery, despite not rocking the most efficient internals, this machine can admirably hold a charge of about 5-6 to six hours. And let's not forget, ports galore. You don't need to invest in expensive hubs, adapters or dongles because you have everything you might need except for USB-C. If you want to expand your storage, you can even use an SD card adapter like this one to add another, let's say, terabyte of a micro SD storage. The absolute kicker here is that this Mac runs Big Sur. Depending on where you live, this laptop in good condition will cost you between $300 or $400. Repairable, just like the iPhone, you can clean it and replace your own battery by yourself. The peripheral shouldn't be neglected too, especially since you can find them almost for free. This is a third generation Apple wireless keyboard with two AA batteries, not to be confused with the previous identically looking generation that uses three AA batteries. This keyboard is one of my favorite keyboards to type on because of the slightly higher keys and the overall raised up profile to accommodate the batteries. This particular one has been serving people around me since 2010 and it's still works and most of all looks brand new despite being the oldest thing on this desk. All those generations of keyboards and trackpads were not welcomed by most people because of having to deal with replaceable batteries. Still, I don't mind it since I have AA charger. The keyboard profile matches the trackpad perfectly making this setup with a magic mouse my absolute favorite trifecta. Adding a splash of era related accessories, this setup is the one that I prefer to use to do all my writing and other work. It is that inspiring. It is a bit nostalgic also since some of those items were released while Steve Jobs was amongst us. I also think that 
this particular desk doesn't give it justice, but I'll soon place it on something better in my new studio. The cost of everything that you see here depends on your secondhand hunting skills, but you should be able to find everything showcased for around 900 bucks, or maybe even less, which is just remarkable. If you enjoyed this video, you might find my Mac playlist helpful. If you have any questions or most of all rock a similar setup, be sure to let me know in the comments below or send me a pic on Twitter. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure. This is Z, over and out.